planet crafter? I have like a mile high list of things to do. Um, but we have reached the insect stage and we're almost at breathable atmosphere. And I really want to get there because I am sick of running out of oxygen. So, I thought we would let, um, launch some rockets. Oh, we got a new message from Riley. After months of hard work, I finally managed to find my way into the Sentinel unlocking process and unlocked the space trading rocket on your system. Usually terraformers are not able to use this, but it should help you. Chances of surviving are greatly improved when it is activated, but Sentinel almost never allows this for planet crafters. I have no way to tell you if you are still alive or not. If only we could see each other again. So I'm guessing I know Riley from... What? I've got another one? Our sensors detected that the conditions on your planet should ensure wild larvae on the surface. Place the larvae in the incubator to breed. Yeah, I figured that out last episode. It took me... I'm not going to say how long because I'm embarrassed how long it took me to actually figure that out. <laughs> You are being closely watched. Let us remind you that you shouldn't use communication devices to contact anyone other than Sentinel Corp. Yeah. What if they contact me though? Because I haven't really contacted anyone else. Um, oh, and also, after last episode, we got... Um, we got this message from Riley. I think it was last episode. Or is it episode before? One of the two. Um, but Riley told us to go to this these coordinates. Um, it just took us to the warden cave that we already went to. Um, it took us to where the key is and then to the cave. So... So, uh, yeah, we don't need to go there. Um, but I would like to find the next warden place. Oh, I made another butterfly thing too. I haven't got any butterflies in there. Look at all these butterflies. I'm hoping too, as soon as the atmosphere is breathable, we will see these butterflies out and about like we do the bees. Maybe? Hopefully? Be cool. Trade space rocket. We need three circuit boards, uranium rocket engine, and super alloy rod. I think... Um, we get the... Circle boards from breaking down those things in the ship. So there's a ship over there. Holy gosh, it gets like nighttime really fast. Um, so I'm gonna see if we can break them down. I did upgrade my destruct tool to tier two. What is that? Yes, we get the circuit boards. Um, now we just have to find our way out. That was easy. We 
Why is that? Oh, is that an alloy? Yes. I need alloy. You gotta get them quick, otherwise they disappear. Really hate how they land in the water though. Um, that was good timing, because so I was just thinking, I need to find a better, better way of actually getting super alloy, because like I'm constantly running out of it. That can already go in! Oh, look how pretty they are! That's cool. Um, I'm pretty sure I got hit by an asteroid over here. And died. I don't think... Any more... ...of it would still be around. It disappears pretty quickly. Um, so I don't actually think I really got to look. So you can sell... I don't even have wheat seeds. Or coca seeds. Oh, you can buy a cooking station? Smart fabric. Pressure multiplier fuse. That's cool. So valuable items at the moment. Okay, so this is what people want. A cookie? Oh, and that's how much you have to get. Holy crap. Is it worth it? I don't know. <laughs> right, I'm going to take some food and some oxygen with me. And we're going to go look. We're gonna go look for the other um, thing. So I wrote. Oh, do you know what? I'm gonna have to go to the old base to get the key. All right, and we're off again. So it, the coordinates are 964, so I was going to go north until I get to 964, so we're around about here, it's not in that cave is it?
Mystic Cave. We found another key. This doesn't have any numbers though. How do I know where to put this key? in here what the whoa have passed since the great migration, but we will not forget our story and the knowledge is carefully passed to every one of our younglings. Our masters watch their evolution closely, we now see how primitive they were, and yet so powerful, ironically, their destructive nature causes them to expand even further, and little by little, they increase their reach, getting closer and closer. We thought we were safe, this far away, but now we need to find a way to avoid meeting them again. We won't make the same mistake as the first time. So 
does that mean they're watching us? Oops. Orbital drainage, defense device, observation log. The device is working as intended and our tests are conclusive. If the ones calling themselves humans ever approach this planet, it will drain their ships of energy and prevent them from communicating. Our presumption is that the device will effectively reduce their efforts to approach this part of the infitude, leading them to spread elsewhere if they continue to do so. Our calculations are conclusive. This will give us at least a few hundred years of quietude. So they were, they were trying to stay away from us. Humans are the bad guy. Oh, I always keep on pressing Q. There's another one. Oh, there's the code. How many more doors are there? And are they all like dead now or? Did they just leave the planet because we came? Oh, I didn't even see this door. What is that? Doesn't look like I can do anything with it. Is that like a model of this planet? Maybe? I don't know. I'm very intrigued about who these people are. What did we do to them? I'm guessing you die if you fall down there. Oh, again? Oh, luckily I bought three oxygen things. I got them out of the, the gas thingies. That was a good number. If you go into the cave, bring three oxygens. I can make a fabric. Wow. 8%. This is going to take a while. Okay, so let's go to the other base. And I prepared four rockets. So we're going to shoot some rockets in this guy. A 
Alright, it's becoming daylight. So we have the asteroid. Okay, we gotta do this really, really quick. And we're gonna launch that one. And then we have the magnetic. Oh no, I need more super alloy. Oh, that didn't go well. That didn't go well at all. <laughs> So have we actually been through here? Because I know I'm running out of these blue crystals actually. I know we went in here but I don't think we went all the way through because there was ice. Should I say Niagara Sands? What spaceship is over here? Have I been to this spaceship? I don't think so. I'm so gonna die though. Do I have enough to make a thing? I always need iron. Titanium silicon. That's not the way that we came. Um, I died down here.
So I kind of want to go check out that island in the middle of nowhere. Wait, is this a different cave? It is. I just want to see what this is. No way. Another base? Oh, that's so cool. Needed that. I thought I'd found the perfect meteor crater to build my launch platform, but the visibility is atrocious. There's no way I'll be able to send anything from down here. I will try to make another base higher on the crater rim. Somewhere near 5-8, oh, minus 5-8-0-1-5-2-0 should work. Hopefully the fog will fade away soon. Nicholas. I don't think we've heard from Nicholas yet. Oh, I'm full. Oh, actually. Oxygen and food. And I'm still full. Oh, <gasps> did butterfly. Yeah, I don't know what he was thinking building a base down here. Um, better get this stuff home though. We're at fourteen percent. So I might build a couple miners and put them at the uranium cave one at the super alloy and one over there and to get the um the blue rocks what are they called blue crystals Osserum. and i'll bring all that stuff that we found at that ship over to the base and build some more heaters i think and some more pressure thingies and then put the multipliers because I'm pretty sure I've got fuses for them too but that is all for me today um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one <laughs>